Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's understand how to implement a given expression using 8 is to 1 multiplexer. By understanding this method, you can implement any given function using any kind of mux like 2 is to 1 mux or 4 is to 1 mux, 18 is to 1 mux. So let us get into the video. The question is like this. What are multiplexers? The first thing is that multiplexer is a device. It will be having multiple inputs and a single output. So accordingly, we need to have a select lines. Suppose we have eight inputs. We need to have three select lines for a single output. How this multiplexer works for the three select lines, we need to give different values like 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. When 0, 0, 0 is the select line, it will select whatever the input in I0 to the output. Means if you have 1 at I0, 1 will be the output. If 0, 0, 1 is the select input, I1 will be selected at the output. Likewise, we have 8 different set of inputs here as select line. And these 8 inputs will be selected accordingly with respect to the select line inputs are given. So now let us implement a Boolean function f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to summation m 1 3 4 11 12 13 14 15. So let me write a truth table first for four variables a b c d from 0 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 1. Here I am just naming or numbering these values according to the expression or the function given. So, 0 means it corresponds to 0, 0, 0, 0 for A, B, C, D. Similarly, 15 corresponds to 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, for this, I need to have my output. Means wherever 1 is there, that corresponds to 0, 0, 0, 1. And let me write 1 over here. Similarly, 3 is there in the given function. 4, 11, 12, 13, 14. And 15. These are the values given. Then for the remaining positions we need to write 0 obviously. Now after filling this, now I need to select the select lines. Out of A, B, C, D I am taking A, B, C are my select inputs. The remaining D I need to take to the input of I0 to I7 with respect to the function given. So that's why if you look at ABC over here, ABC will be having 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 again. So I can make these two as one set of values. Means in this section, we will be having select line as 0, 0, 0 only. Similarly, if you look at next two set of values, we will be having 0, 0, 1 select line. So I am grouping all these with respect to the select lines are concerned. Now we have 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1 select lines A, B, C. Now for 0, 0, 0, as I said, I0 will be selected and given to the output. I need to map this I0 to the function with respect to D. So if you look at D and F now, D is 0, F becomes 0. If D is 1, F becomes 1. It means the function or the output will be same as D when the select line is 0, 0, 0. That's why I am going to write it as I0 will be equal to D. Then if you look at 0, 0, 1 select line. So here we have 0 function output will be 0. When D is equal to 1 output will be 1. So it is following D. So I1 is equal to D now. For 0, 1, 0 what it will select? I2. So I2 if you look at D and F relation, when D is equal to 0, the output will be 1 and D is equal to 1, output will be 0. So we can write it as I2 is equal to D bar. Similarly, if you look at this, D is equal to 0, here 1 becomes 0. It means whatever my D is, output will be 0. Means I need to pass 0 from I3. Similarly, for I4, whatever the input D we are giving as input, output will be passed as 0. That's why I am passing 0 from I4. Similarly here, whatever D is there, that will be the output. That's why I5 is equal to D. Similarly, in the next two cases, I6 and I7, 
whatever d is output is 1 so we got i0 to i7 values over here now we need to assign these values to the input of my 8 is to 1 multiplexer first let me take i0 i1 and i5 which are having d inputs together i am connecting to d similarly next i need to look for the next value that is i2 i2 is connected to d bar so connect i2 to d bar then we have i3 to 0 and i4 to 0 take i3 i4 and assign 0 similarly i5 will be connected to d already we have connected i6 and i7 we need to connect to logic 1 this is how we can implement the given function using a multiplexer out of four inputs three inputs will be go for select lines one input will be assigned to the input lines so we need to carefully choose the relation between the the remaining input d as well as the function f then we will get all these set of input values for mapping to the input ports this is how we can easily solve the function implementation with respect to the multiplexer thank you